Now we're just going to do a quick run through of the email interface for the web-based mail. Um, it's going to come with this new system. So I've entered a test account, username and password, and you, you will have your own username and password, which should remain the same um, after this transfer is made from your current mail to the new mail client. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and log in. Upon logging in, you're going to come to the blank screen and the easiest way to see your mail is go over on the left hand column here and just click on the mail icon. We just have one test email in this account, um, but all your emails will show here. Um, much like in other mail clients, you'll be, have the ability to check this mail, like I just did, highlight it, and you can flag it as important or um, mark it as answered. Also delete it or you know do anything else that you may need to do with it. Um, on the top menu, let's just go through the menu real quick. We've got new message, uh, create a blank message, folders. It's basically like any other folder structure system. You'll be able to create new folders and organize your mail that way. Um, you can do a search for everything on your webmail. Fetch mail will auto refresh your inbox and pull anything off the server that's addressed to you. Um, you can apply filters. Calendar is probably one of the more important, so let's walk through that right now. Um, basically, once you have the calendar open, to add an event, it's as simple as just clicking um, in this plus sign next to the date. And then you can add an event um, with any you know specifications that you'd like. So let's just say test and in-house for a location and I'll just leave it all default but as you can see you can specify your start date and time down to the minute um, set an alarm for yourself as well you would have to be logged in for this alarm to work but um, staying logged in is definitely something that's possible and recommended um, and you can go ahead and send invites to attendees as well in the same interface so if you were to click send updates and then edit attendees all you have to do is add the attendees using email addresses right here so I'm going to go ahead and invite myself and then you hit save attendees go ahead and after you save it you don't necessarily need to hit save and finish you can just X out the window so there's that test event that I just created so you can see when you wrote mouse over it gives you a little bit of information about it There are no notes attached to that event, so it's not important. This mail client also has an address book. This address book doesn't have anybody in it, but you can add people to it and track your contacts that way. Um, options, kind of less important. Tasks. I recommend using the calendar to track tasks, but it is also you know, you can do separate tasks in the system, um, none of which are set up. And when you do create things in calendar, um, it will populate your tasks if you have them marked as such. So that makes uh, task tracking a little easier that way. Um, and we can go ahead and look at this one test message so you can see what the emails actually look like. So it's pretty self-explanatory. We've got delete, reply, forward, redirect, and some other more in-depth features on the right here. The only other one that I would recommend is print or save as. Um, but, I mean, replying to an email is as easy as just clicking reply, and it'll display like this. So you can put your body 
text above or below whatever you're replying to. So I'll just say, thanks. So I sent Mike a thanks there, and now I'm going to go ahead and log out. I think that's really all that uh, we need to cover in the space section, so thanks. <laughs>